Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hardcore Farming Simulator 15 where the aim of the game well, to not end up in debt so let's see how we're starting off. We're starting off on Bandicoot, we haven't changed anything we're playing on hard so I got a hundred and fifty thousand euro loan that I need to pay off by the end of the season series but I have to stay out of debt at the same time so I can't just go oh well I've got five thousand euro let's just pay off five thousand of the loan no 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 I'm allowed to take out more of the loan to stay out of negative figures at midnight so if I see eleven fifty five I'm minus a thousand euro I can pull out money to um save myself from that and the aim the win condition that is my fail condition if I end up negative I lose game over we'll go on to a new map the win condition on this map is to have New Holland CR 1090 Big X 1100 headers for both all the headers for both so the Superflex Draper the uh, I'm going to go for the Quasar HS 16 rows, the Easy Collect 1053, the Easy Flow 300, the XX, S, the X Disc 6200. We're also going to have at the end, as a win condition, the Quad Track 620, the Man Truck, the Krampa SB 60, 3060, the Maxtron 620, the Tektron 415, this we already have, the ZGB, and the SPV Convert, uh, as well as the Liebherr L538 and all of the attachments, and the Telehandler with all of the attachments, because there's a few more Telehandler attachments. Um, they're the only rules. I'm allowed to do whatever I want other than that. Well other than kind of running into debt. So, let's see what Combine Harvester we're starting out with, because it's behind this door. You can see it's red. We're starting off. The KSIH 7130. And we do have the head for that. The head for it is parked up over here. Uh, there is one other thing about this map that is going to be a challenge. On this first day, none of the doors to the cell points will open. There is only one cell point I can use, it is just over there by those bales, and that is the straw cell point. So, that's going to be a challenge. So, I think the first thing we're going to do, before we even start harvesting, is look at our vehicles. Okay, so we got an Agristar 6061, Ursus, and a T6, that's good. Front loader, good, good, good. Potato harvester. Eh, but we want to get as many crops in as we can, so we're going to have to keep that. Two trailers, that's good. Nice big um, cultivator. That Whoa, hang on. Cultivator's too big. Cultivator can go because we're trying to save vehicle costs. We don't need a plow. We're going to keep th this and hope that we can use it. Your boss, we definitely need. This we need. This we don't need yet, so I'm gonna get rid of it. This we definitely don't need yet, so I'm gonna get rid of it. That goes with the slurry spreader, so we're gonna get rid of that. Okay, so we're up to 58,000 euro, that's good. Can we get a bigger? Yes, we can. Okay, so we're gonna swap out the loading wagon immediately. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to want to get as much wheat in, or as much straw in, in one go as we possibly can. And I've done some testing with the small one. Oh my god, it's, it takes so long to get some straw in. So, let's start unfolding the harvester, pick up the head. And uh, I have tested this. It will fit through those gates over there. They're the only. There's two ways out of this farm area. And they're both gates of this size, just over here. So, uh, we're going to do, similar to Aldridge, we're going to do 20 minute episodes. I may or may not do a lot of off-screen work. 
Uh, but I'm going to try not to hire workers, because, well, they cost money and I don't... That's something I don't have quite yet. Um, I think that the straw might be able to get us to a point where we can hire workers. Uh, as well as that we are allowed to... Oops, to reset vehicles, so let's just reset that. Just because it's hard enough trying not to get into debt and then trying to get the wind condition after that, that's going to be fun. Um, I've just decided another wind condition is going to be a windmill. And, okay, I'm going to stop here. We're going to have one of each of these. One of each of them. Except the trees. The trees are just kind of there. We're going to have a windmill, a solar collector, lettuce greenhouse, tomato greenhouse, a bee house, and a power washer. Well, a power washer. Um, probably me, because I'm... Mm, I don't know if, if I want to keep up the rule where I have to wash vehicles before I sell them. Either way, let's get the harvesting. And uh, this is going to be a very, very long harvest, so uh, it's probably going to be a few videos in a row. Um, there will come points where I have bonus time in my hands, um, where you know I'm, I'm way ahead on videos. Then you'll get ed more edited videos. Right now I'm kind of playing catch up myself and trying to get ahead. So uh, for the time being, at least these will just be 20 minutes or so because I never hit 20 minutes exactly of me just. Doing something, and it's probably for the next one while going to be harvesting because this is quite a big field. It took me a couple of hours last night to get two rounds done, nearly two rounds. Uh, then I realised I needed to test the um, straw cell plant to see if that worked on day one, which it does. So it's not as impossible a feat as I thought it could be. Um, there was a point where I was very, very close to saying, actually, nothing's open on this map on day one. I might have to either take out all of the loan on day one just to survive, or say, okay, this first 24-hour period is a grace period. But, um, yeah. Probably going to have a few extra rules, such as, uh, um, in fact, yes, yes, this is going to be rules. I'm going to have a, a description of the rules, if I can remember. Uh, and I will be throwing up annotations and things in these videos. Um, another rule is, when I've harvested a field, I must leave it lie overnight before seeding it. So this field not be sown until well, tomorrow in game, day two. That's going to be fun because we only have, it looks like th three fields that we can use right this moment. But all of them are quite big, so um, there shouldn't be much of a problem. Yeah, hopefully. Um, day two we're going to have Pretty big influx of money because the first thing I'm going to do is sell off the wheat and barley. It's all barley, actually. Uh, let's just check. Is it all barley? It is, in fact, all barley ready. So, yeah, we're going to have quite a big influx from selling uh, probably close to a million litres of barley. And uh, another issue that I've just realised I have no idea where this <laughs> storage point is. Oh my god, that's something I should have found out last night when I was testing this map. Um, but yes, this is Bandicow. It is a Polish map. It's based in Poland. Um, and I've seen it, I've seen Ian Robson playing on this. And it is just one of the prettiest maps for farm sim ever. Especially early in the morning because you get a vista like that, where the trees are there and 
the sun just peeking out and saying hello. It's it's beautiful. But uh, I have a feeling I'm going to grow to hate this map because of the way it works. So this map does have uh, pigs, uh, which are somewhere on the map. The joy is I do know some basic German, so this should help me. Um, Mokarai? Ah, the pigs are down by field 22. Just spotted them there. Um, I think this map also has seed production. I'm not sure though. Um, I'm gonna check while I'm here. What? We can store on this map. Storage. Wheat, barley, canola, corn, potatoes, sugar beets, chaff, straw, grass, seeds. Yes, so we obviously can store seeds. Silage. I guess it's the second page. TMR, which is fertilizer, manure, and lime. Okay. Um, that's. Okay, so I think I'm going to start by trying to make some seeds, because free seeds are always a good thing. Um, never look a free thing in the face, I suppose. Always look free things in the face. Always just take free things. If you see something that's free, take it. That's why I make YouTube videos. It's just like, hey, these are free to, uh, for people to watch. I watch essentially nothing but YouTube videos and live streams. I don't like paying for things. Um, it's just a personal thing that sometimes, in fact, quite a lot of the time, I don't see the point of paying for entertainment. I can I don't go. I don't go to the cinema. I've been to a couple of music festivals. I can see the point of going to those. Oh my God, they were such fun. Um, if you're of the age where music festivals um, appeal to your peers, so kind of 18 to 25 year old region. Um, though I have met plenty of people at the festival for more than that. Um, I would thoroughly encourage you to uh, go visit one. I went to uh, last year Independence, which is an um, indie music festival. Uh, it's actually, it was last year, quite near me. I heard rumors that it's going to be moving for this year. I haven't quite checked yet. Uh, where are the trailers? I should be over here somewhere, I think. There they are. I'm blind. Um, I heard rumors that it was moving and I haven't actually checked where it is this year. But that was amazing. That was just so much fun. Um, It, honestly, smaller festivals I think are better to go to than bigger ones because I also went to Electric Picnic, which is um, one of the bigger festivals in Europe, I would say. And while there were some amazing acts, and I blew my voice out for a week and a half, just screaming at Chic featuring Nile Rogers, um, because, you know, I've got the. Uh, I've got a very old taste in music, at times. I absolutely love Cheek, and blew my voice out, and then the next night I was in the front row for Outcast. That didn't go very well. <laughs> that didn't help my voice. In fact, those two, that combination probably blew it. Um, it was gone already by the time Cheek was over, because I, I started a wave of screaming across about 3,000 people. Um, I'm awesome like that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Drink... I'm, I'm gonna say this, but before I say... Always drink in moderation. Always drink in moderation, because you will regret that day. I was pretty much drunk the entire time at Electric Picnic. I started drinking on the Friday, and... Um... I kind of started at 6, 7, 8 o'clock every night. 
drinking and I was very, very drunk. Passed out on the Saturday. Was kind of fun. I did have a very enjoyable time. I mean, if if you have a lot of money and you really need to for these festivals, because it's a couple of thousand euros. Well, it's a couple of hundred euros to get in. Then you got to organize a bus or some sort of transport and get all your stuff together. You know, including um. What is this place? You've got to get your tent and your sleeping bag and all that kind of stuff together. What even is this? Is this the milk cell point? Can I go up these? Dang it, people. Make your ladders climbable. This must be the milk cell point. Oh well. Let's continue on with the harvest. I suppose. Um, let's see, who else did I, I see at the festivals? Um, that people would actually know. Uh, Blondie, I went to see. They were amazing. Debbie Harry still has it. I mean, wow. She still has it. Um, I kind of saw from a distance Sinead O'Connor, who wasn't as crazy as I'd expected, but did. Apparently, from what I saw, she forgot her lines because she was dancing like a moron on stage. Um, she was quite good. Walking on cars, I saw Independence, and my sister loves them, but I, I just... If you're walking on cars, fan... I'm not going to criticize you, but I am going to criticize the lead singer, who just seemed completely full of himself. Absolutely, completely loved himself. Um, who else did I see? Hosier, of course, twice. Hosier was amazing. And uh, America, I know you guys love him as well. Because he's been, um, he is, or was at one stage, number two in the American Albums chart for his album Hosier, which I bought almost immediately after it was released. Um, I absolutely love that voice. And his songwriting is amazing. It's, it's proper songwriting. Unlike <clears throat> some modern acts like Justin Bieber in One Direction and to an extent Miley Cyrus. Um, or the Twerkmeister, as I call it. Um, yeah, I'm actually forgetting people that I've seen now at the festivals. So that's amazing. Uh, but it was just so much fun. I, I met people that I knew at both. I went to... Um, if you go to festivals regularly, you probably go with a group of your friends. Some probably close friends. Um, I didn't. I went to Independence, which is, I think, 10 to 15,000 people total over the weekend. Uh, I went to that alone, which was fine. I went to Electro Picnic, which I think over the weekend was over 100,000 people. I went to that by myself. And I was one of, I think the estimate was 15,000 people standing by the stage at Electro Picnic. There's a picture somewhere on the internet of the main stage at Electric Picnic and then just this mass of people for oh probably a hundred meters or so. Um, that's about fifteen thousand people all gathered essentially in a field in front of a stage uh, to watch Hosier. And oh my god it was so very much worth it. <laughs> uh, I came back from both um, completely sunburned and um, after independence I went to bed for 8 hours, woke up, had my dinner, and then went back to bed for another 8 hours. Because I hadn't slept in, uh, I think I made it out to be 52 hours, because somebody had stolen my sleeping bag on the first night. Um, that was fun. <laughs> you try not sleeping for, um, essentially 3 days, and see how well you do. Uh, the answer is probably not very well. 
<laughs> you're gonna be asleep as fast as you jump into bed. I guarantee you that. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoyed myself at the festivals and discovered interesting things that I probably shouldn't have eaten all. But, um, that electric picnic, I pretty much subsided off um, not to let crepes, <laughs> crepes with hazelnut spread on them, because everything else did not agree with me. Um, chips, don't ever go for chips at a festival. Oh my god, I feel so sick. That could have just been me and my hangover belly. Um, yeah. And this is going back six months and I still remember it vividly. I'm still wearing um, my admission wristbands. Like, that. I love them so much that I just plain refuse to take off my wristbands. I've been wearing the electric pink one I've been wearing since the last weekend of August. And the independence one came off for two or three weeks around um, electric picnic, but I put that one back on because I think I'm going to take it off without breaking everything. So I'm still wearing both of my festival bracelets, they are just a feature of me now, um, as well as the ring I actually constantly wear. The games, it's like, it's like a, oh, yeah, the, um, yeah, just quick synopsis of what I've been ranting up. Uh, I'm crazy, I wear the same things pretty much every day, same ring, just the one ring, it's a clatter ring, um, and it's starting silver, so it's amazing. And I wear my festival bracelets all the time because I want to keep the memory of them there and I love them. <laughs> so, um, it's the end of episode one of Hardcore Farm Sim. Don't know what I'm going to call this series. I'm going to have a name for it. Probably going to be um, Hardcore Farm Sim. Uh, but, well, we're still alive. We haven't gone into debt. In fact, we've actually gone up in money because it sold everything. Um, I th think once I've got this um, loop of the field done, I'm going to hire a worker. I'm going to finish off this loop of the field off screen because I just need to go down to the bottom of there. Uh, I'm going to hire a worker because I want to start gathering up the dang it the um, the straw. It's going to take a while to gather the straw even from this first loop, so I think it makes sense to start hiring a worker and um, hoping to buy him. He doesn't cost me everything. Now I do have, of course, the 50,000 euro um, buffer. 50,000 euro buffer of the loan that I haven't taken out yet. That's nice. I may end up using that. In any case, you've been watching Farming... I've been Rainbow Day. You've been watching Farming Simulator 15 on Bandcamp. Uh, please, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what to think of this kind of series idea pilot -y thing that's going to have more episodes either way. Just tell me what you think of it, because I think it's an interesting take on it. I haven't seen anybody else do anything like this. Um, mainly because everybody else is insane. Um, <laughs> in, any case, in any case, thank you very much for watching. Um, I will see you next time, and until then, Stay safe and goodbye.